This might be uh, something really obvious for someone that's been working with these APCs for a long time, somebody that works in a network center, but um, that person is not me. I started a personal project with these things a couple of months ago, a um, bunch of refurbished open box used APCs, and so I've been learning as I go. And uh, this is just a old SMT 3000 I've had forever. I've had this for about 10 years that I'm going to sell because I have other stuff now. Um, but I have it sitting here, so I'm using it to demonstrate this reset for anyone that, like me, did not know how to do it um, or runs into a network card that needs to be reset. Anyway, uh, when I first started searching on these things, if I'd known more about them, I might have found the answer more quickly, but I think I was running into a lot of information about older network cards, and they were mainly talking about if you... Uh, oh, 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 what what brought this all about was I... Um, this, is, this is a second batch that I just ordered, or a third batch, actually. Um, but I got five of these things, got a pretty good deal on them, the AP9631s. Um, I'm thinking this probably applies to the AP9630s. But when I got the batch of five, two of them worked fine. I was able to log in, upgrade the firmware. Um, one of them gave me a, re a really weird response when I tried to access it from the web page, from the admin web page. Um, it was like, um, looked like somebody had set up some sort of security protocol and had a different username and password, I'm not sure. But um, I could tell it was hitting the card, but not... I couldn't get in. And then the other two still have manual configurations. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, it was, it was hard to figure out for somebody that didn't, didn't know anything about these. And all I had found at that time was advice about going in through the um, serial port in the back. And it involved yet another proprietary cable that I didn't have yet. So, um... I um, contacted the seller to see if they knew what was going on, and they weren't too familiar with the cards. They just were selling them. And I uh, was about to send the three back, but gave it one more shot, did a little bit of searching, and I'd read about this reset switch and had tried it. And most times when you see people talking about this reset, it's just for... You um you need a paper clip, something fairly rigid to stick in there. Uh holding it down for a few seconds until the top status light starts blinking green. Um which is basically all it's doing is just a reboot. Um these things have their own operating system, they have an FTP client, they have all sorts of stuff. They're fairly I couldn't understand why these things were so expensive when they first came out, if you buy them new still. Uh, until I saw that they were kind of little self contained computers of their own. But anyway. Um, I'd seen a reference to there being another reset mode, um, and I'm pretty sure the thing that I saw said you had to hold it for 20 seconds, which I tried, and it didn't do anything different. Um, but, just for the hell of it, I figured I'd give it one more shot, and this time, I'm going to try it now, sometimes it's hard to get this thing on the first shot, especially when I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera. I held it in, and just held it in. And kind of long if you want to. Well, uh, notice I tried to do this video earlier. This camera doesn't do orange too well. Um, or at least it didn't before. So I'm going to see this now. Hopefully, I have to kind of carefully wiggle it around to get. All right. Oh, almost got it. Try it one more time. If you lose contact. Yeah, I think I have it. Nope. Stubborn little suckers. Alright, one more try. Man, that's annoying.
All right, you can't see it, but right now that top light is blinking green. I'm not going to move my hand because every time I move my hand, I lose contact with this little stupid button and it stops. Um, when it starts blinking orange, I can take my hand off of it and show you. So, still blinking green. And still blinking green. Alright, now it's orange. And I think it's probably going to look yellow um, in this video. But take my word for it. It's very orange. It's very noticeable. When it switches from green to orange, you will definitely notice it is blinking orange. Okay, so now that it's stopped, I believe that means it is cycled down. When it comes back up, the first thing you see is the status light. I mean, the, sta the connection light, whatever they call it. So now the status light, I believe when it's blinking fast, you know, green and orange back and forth like that, it's rebooting. And now when it's in slower mode, I think that's indicating that it's doing the DHCP lookup, which takes a bit of time. But as I said, this was a card that I just tried. This was a batch of three. First one I couldn't log into, second one I could, and this third one... I could not log into. Like I said, if I could get to the web page um, from the admin. Or no, I didn't try this one because I could see that it had all these manual settings when I went to the LCD on the front of the unit. Anyway, this is probably over long, but I, if I'd had this video, it would have saved me a lot of time um, when I first got these things. And now I feel a lot more comfortable buying these things used because um, they are a pretty good deal if you can buy them in bulk. I think I picked these up for like 35 bucks a piece. Um, and anyway, I feel pretty confident that now that that light is solid green, the status light on top, at least that's the way it looks to me, that's the way it looks in person, I will go check from my computer, and if I post this video, I will indicate whether or not it was successful. Hope this helps somebody.